This TE250i, I must say, was my first proper dirt bike. My first two-stroke and my first bike I can really grow into. But not to say I have not ridden other dirt bikes before and not other two-strokes as well. Now, I kind of wanted to give some thoughts and opinions on the TE250i and other TPI models. Now, these bikes are actually re really great for beginners. I mean, I started on this bike as a beginner. Heck, I'm probably still a beginner to most guys out there. And I gotta say, it's also really good to intermediate riders and probably even to advanced top riders. Now I'm not going to say maybe in stock form, maybe some little tweaking here and there, but to me the power down low is great. They don't flame out as easy, but there is a small problem with the TE250i models and other TPI models from what I have experienced. Now the most common problem that I've seen up to date is they seem to be running lean from the factory. Now, this is just an update from my bike at 120-ish hours, because everything else in every way with this TE250i, it's a great bike. It runs perfect down low and entering the mid-range up to single track and stuff, but to me, it's very comfortable. The power is there down low and if I want to have fun with it, I can easily get into the revs and make it like a traditional two-stroke. And say if you wanted to rev up even faster, I switched the gearing to a 1353 and that definitely made it seem to want to rev up a lot quicker than in stock form, which is I believe a 1350 or a 1450, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But I must say, which is what I have been doing lately since my riding has been been slowly improving. See, now in wide open fields and flowy tracks and single track, I've been riding in the revs a lot more. Before when I first started and when I first got this bike, I was not. I was pretty, pretty timid, easy going, kind of afraid of the throttle just a little bit. Now if you listen to this video, this is where the problem resides. No, it's not a rev limiter and there is nothing wrong with the sensors as I already checked. But really pay attention to the first and second run. In the first run, you can hear it ping. Then in the second run, I am more aggressive with the throttle and notice the revs are higher. But it does bypass that pinging sound. It's only when I ease into the throttle. I'm also going faster if you pay attention to the speed on the first and second run. run, this instantly tells me it's not a rev limiter problem. Besides, rev limiters don't really sound that way on two strokes. They're very abrupt, very quick sounding I would say, at least on the TPI models. Now here's the thing, I'm currently in the way of diagnosing my bike as of now. I dropped it off at the dealership and I asked them to perform a diagnostic test and as well a reflash of the ECU. Hopefully that is the fix to this issue and it's simple as that. I can recommend, hey, getting an ECU definitely fix my running lane problem. My second option is to buy the Get ECU from Slavens, which yes, it is dang pricey, but besides the fix to it running lean, I've heard there are some massive benefits to it. I've heard you can get down low grunt, it's more responsive, and you can tune it the way you want, say you make it into a snow bike and you can give it more power on the top end or or whatnot. Most likely, I will be going this route. I will get the Get ECU from Slavens, and either way, I will report once I do buy it. Whether dropping it off the dealership and getting a reflash of the ECU fixed it, and then say it does fix it, I'll go ahead and get that Get ECU, and I'll also update on that and how much it does change the TE250i. Perhaps it makes it as powerful as the carbureted ones. Because yes, the carbureted ones do have a little bit more of a punch to it. However, I kind of feel like the TPI models 
do not flame out as quick as the carburetor works. Now, I'm not the only one with this issue. I have researched many forums and YouTube videos alike, and they all seem to have this issue one way or the other. Now, I'm not saying every single bike, but it kind of sounds almost the same way. Some bog down low when you're about to give it throttle, some are running lean to the mid and even high range in both cases. In my case, it seems to be running lean, hear that pinging again, like in the mid range, entering the high range, right when it's about to rev up pretty hard. Now I can easily bypass that if I give it a handful of throttle, it seems to just go away. But that's still not very safe when you're doing hill climbs or you want some kind of throttle response. You just don't want to give it a handful of throttle and bam, okay, let's just get rid of this pinging just by being super aggressive all the time. See, the TE250i has a very controllable power band. It's pretty linear, but it also revs up pretty fast. So it's kind of like your choice, what you wanna, what you wanna do out of the throttle. And that's what I love about these TE250i's and other TPI's like the KTM's and stuff. They all seem to have that linear power delivery. Anyhow, hopefully you guys like this video. I know it's not much of an update or not much of a fix yet, but I kind of wanted to demonstrate my problem and I will definitely update you guys with what I come up with or what the dealership tells me on later videos. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button, that way you can see how it is and I will definitely update you guys once I take it out on the trails and stuff like that. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.